Good morning, my creative friends. This is Dr. Manette Riordan. and this is Painting in Your PJs live with Manette. And I am coming to you on a Friday morning, not my normal date, but just felt inspired to do a follow-up session on the session that I did yesterday where I was really <clears throat> painting through some doubt and fear and lack of clarity. And after I got off the video, I just did some scribbling and I had this butterfly appear on the page. You can't uh, see it underneath the writing. And this morning I did some journal writing and just really feeling the energy of wings and butterfly opening up and remembering that, you know, one of the stages of transformation that a butterfly goes through is this like messy middle, right? This sort of murky stage when they're in the cocoon and they just are like goo before they can break through free. And I feel like I'm having some movement this week <clears throat> and some allergies this morning, so pardon me. Having some movement this week of moving out of that sort of murky stage and feeling my wings expand and open to the light. So I wanted to come in and just maybe play with the idea of the butterfly and wings and just this sense of connecting to my own transformation, connecting to my own experience of what does it feel like to start sort of breaking free And I love starting my visual journaling pages with maybe a little bit of sketching and often some journal writing about what I'm thinking about. And I tend to vary those. <clears throat> I tend to vary the order of things. But for me, good morning, happy Friday. I didn't know if anybody would uh, come along to play on this unusual day, but Blanca, thank you for being here. <clears throat> and so sitting with the visual journaling, so my, my process tends to be very similar, not always in the same order, but usually I'm starting with a question or just a curiosity that could be as simple as how am I feeling today or what do I need or want more of today? So I'm starting with that question, and sometimes that question gets answered with a sketch or a doodle. Sometimes, more frequently, it gets answered through some writing. And then I go to painting and collage and starting to build up those layers. And what I <clears throat> have been really drawn to this week is some of my expressive arts practices where I'm really just getting energy down onto the page. I'm sort of intuitively, intuitively choosing colors. Hmm, I think this one is about dead. I might need to find a different red. And so I was feeling <clears throat> leaning into reds and pinks this morning. All right, I think this one is just about dead. So let me find a different red. So just that the colors of life and passion. So I most frequently do choose the colors that I'm working with. Just first color that pops into my head, I go with that or I pick one color and have that become part of the, the palette that I'm working on. And so this first color that I pulled was this beautiful neon pink, which led me to some pinks and reds. Color of spring blooms, but also the color of fire and blood and passion. And it makes sense when I'm in this murky middle in this energy of transformation to paint some of these darker colors, right? And I love that some of the letters of my journaling are showing through, not 
<clears throat> creating a really solid background for this one. And this is one of those practices that sometimes may take only five or 10 minutes to come in and capture that energy, right? And that, you know, we don't always have to have these really long sessions, but giving ourselves permission. I spent maybe five minutes doing some journaling and then I'll spend 15 or 20 minutes adding some color and paint to the page and I'll walk away transformed, right? I'll walk away feeling different than how I felt when I sat down. And that to me is the magic of a visual journaling practice is using art and writing to really connect to what's happening within to notice, does it need to be visible? Does it need to be transformed? Does it need to be released? Is it just asking for attention? Sometimes I sit down for these sessions and my inner child says, I just want to play. I just want to play. And so just leaning into your own process and practice, giving yourself permission to be with what is, to be with what is, Personal growth doesn't always have to be quite so hard. We don't have to think our way through it. In fact, we can get really stuck in our own growth and emotional regu regulation if we're spending too much time in our head thinking. And for me, painting brings movement, energy, gets things flowing, gets things opening up in a whole new way. That's why I love this practice so much. I love doing this practice with my private clients as part of my Emerge private coaching program as well. I love when people come to work with me in the studio and we can do this live and in person, but I can do it with people virtually as well. And helping them to really open up to the truth of who they are. And oftentimes allowing that to unfold on the page creates unexpected wisdom and knowing and magic. Interesting, this uh, sweet little butterfly is not wanting to have a different colors, not wanting to have a lot of coverage on the page, wanting to be able to see some of that writing coming through in the body here. The wings are getting pretty covered up. And normally I paint with such a bright palette and this is bright but it's very monochromatic so I'm just noticing this is what wants to happen brighten it up with some of these neon pink I love 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 this fluorescent pink and I'm just sort of intuitively listening to what's happening within me. I'm sort of feeling like mm, maybe I do want just a little bit of blue around the butterfly. Maybe going to come in with some <clears throat> more black definition and outlines over the top. It's a very childlike butterfly. right? When I think about what I think a butterfly looks like as opposed to what a butterfly might actually look like. That's what I painted on the page. Just a tiny, oh, well, that came out more than I wanted it to. Maybe just coming in. Creating a little just definition here. Using just that very edge of my brush to get kind of that thinner line. I'm 
I love big, bold, black outlines around things, just the definition it creates and kind of helps them pop off the page a little bit more. Blanca, what are you working on this morning? What are you up to? Are you working on your 100-day project? So really loving where this is going, feeling like I want some nice white details, which means I need to get it really dry if I don't want those whites to kind of blend in with my background of pinks. I definitely don't want the blue. I'm going to clean my brush off over here on this page. I've got a bunch of extra paint on my palette, so it'll all just kind of end up on this page. And I love black and pink together, too. Always makes for just such an interesting page. They do blend well. Yeah, they do. And it's sometimes kind of hard to see, but I love that I can still see some of that detail underneath and those beautiful colors coming through, but I'm going to hit this with my dryer, and then I'm going to come back in with a little bit more white. And I'm just holding my page up here so that I'm not also drying the paint on my palette, because I have done that before. All right, it's probably dry enough. And I'm feeling like maybe coming in even with a Posca. Just again, always all the different ways I can make marks, get my own hand and marks into things. When we first moved here last summer and my daughter came home, we went and visited this beautiful little gardens, and they had a lovely little butterfly house, and it was so much fun to go in and see all the different kinds of butterflies, the colors and the patterns. Again, just being with this feeling of transforming, opening, creating spaciousness when my... I love that you follow along with me and you're painting the butterfly. Thank you. Feeling into just the opening and the spaciousness of the wings unfurled, right? It's not doesn't have its wings closed. It has its wings wide open, and butterflies often do that, so in... Santa Barbara, there was a beautiful monarch grove that we loved to visit and to watch them sit in the sunlight and the wings would warm up. And as the sun would come out and they would warm up and they would be sitting there often in the hundreds with their wings unfurled to the sun to warm up. And it was something spectacular to witness. And so to imagine, what would it feel like to me to open up my own wings, allow that light to touch them, that spaciousness to come in, to not feel so caught up in what feels like this sort of murky middle creative space that I've been in this week, and instead being in openness and expansion and receiving So again, just playing with pattern, with shape, not trying to make this a realistic butterfly, but an imaginary butterfly, a butterfly that represents the spirit of how I'm feeling as I open up 
my wings to the Again, allowing these to be expressive and playful. Still wondering if maybe I want just a little bit of blue on that page. And come in. <clears throat> Some brighter pops of that pink. Noticing I put the white down first over those darker colors so that that pink would stand out just a little bit more. Very playful butterfly. I'm going to try just a little touch of blue in the background, keeping it pretty transparent because I do want to be able to still see that writing in the background. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that. So just adding that little bit of water to acrylics helps with transparency. If you're trying to get a thin layer, less water creates more opacity in the color. Some colors are more translucent or opaque than others. And almost every tube or jar of paint that you buy will tell you if it's translucent or opaque. So this one has this open square here right on the surface. And because it's open and not blacked in, I know this is a translucent color, right? Transparent color. Hmm, thank you. Yes, taking flight with confidence. Thank you. And that's what it, the butterfly needed, just that little bit of blue to feel landed here on the page. Again, I love being able to see my handwriting through there. I love the texture and marks that it creates. I don't need to be able to read what it says. The writing was just for me. But I do love the way it looks when I can see through. And I'm going to call her done this morning. There's a simple expressive butterfly that really captures the essence of how I'm feeling that helped me go from this much, you know, darker, grounded, seeking clarity to a much more open, expansive, allowing the light in, allowing the ideas in. And so noticing how I'm using my own creative practice to just paint through the experience of my feelings and my thoughts, getting it out on the page so that I can see it. Because once I see it, then I can transform it. Thank you so much for joining me live or for watching the replay. Blanca, thank you for being here this morning. As always, great to be with you. And I'll be back Monday morning, 7 a.m. Mountain Time for some more Painting in Your PJs with Minette. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend, my friends.